Now, a lot of this is admittedly fairly difficult to see, but we'll give it a good amount of attention. Now, some of this I'm only trying to make very subtly darker. So I'm pushing very, very light on my tablet. If you need to be even more subtle, we can adjust the opacity as well. Might reduce that to 50%. There we go, now I can get very subtle changes. Okay, so when I'm painting in the neck area right here, it's a little difficult for me to work with because of all these other polygons that are getting in the way. So what I can do to help fix that is I can go to the eyeball here, which is my polygon hide tool, and I can start hiding individual polygons. You gotta be careful that you don't hide something that you don't mean to hide. Because it is a rather sensitive tool. Okay, so now it's a bit easier to see. Oh, and when you do that, we need to go back and reactivate our smart material. Otherwise, we'll just be painting with a standard brush. Okay, the model may look kind of uh, exploded right now, but all the polygons are still there, we just can't see some of them. But now it's much easier for us to get access to the torso here. All right, with my brush tool now. I'm going to change tactics a little bit. I'm going to increase my brush opacity to 100% again, and I'm going to change my stroke mode. I'm going to change it to the very first one. So now the, the radius will change with my pen pressure, but not the opacity. And then I'm also going to pick an alpha with a much harsher edge. So that as you see, I get a very strong pattern here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw in some lines here. Might even turn off steady stroke for this. And... Aha. So one thing I'm having a little bit of difficulty with here is trying to get this stroke to taper off very smoothly. One thing I can do to change this is go up here to this little brush icon right next to the lock and if I hit edit curves we can see the curve that the brush is using for the pen pressure fall off. What this means is that by default as the pen pressure decreases the radius decreases in a linear fashion until it approaches zero. Now, in my particular case, this actually makes it very difficult for me to get a smooth fall off. The brush radius tends to drop off much more quickly than I would like. So what I can do is I can click in and add a point here, and I've discovered that moving the point down here is beneficial for my situation. And what this means is that the brush radius will drop off very quickly but it will more slowly approach zero as the pen pressure gets very, very low. So let me just see if I can illustrate this real quick. So this is by default, this is the linear. So this is me pushing at maximum pressure and then I am slowly dropping off. Okay, it dropped off much more quickly than I would have liked there. And then let me see if I can make that a little bit better. 
Now I have to push a lot harder to get the maximum brush radius, but at lower pressures I have much more control over very narrow brush strokes. So I can create a smoother taper with all my brush strokes by changing those curves. With your tablet, it may be a bit different, but that is the situation with mine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw on some little line patterns. Now I have ter symmetry turned off because I want these details to be asymmetrical. Okay, that should do for this side. And then before I go over to the other side, you'll see that the lighting is much darker, and that's just the nature of the skybox we're using. So what I can do is I can go up here to this light icon with an arrow next to it, click and drag on that, and that will rotate the skybox. I can also then click and drag on the light bulb icon next to it to increase the brightness. So now I can more clearly see the other side. Now let's go back to painting those same stripey details. Great. Now to bring back every single polygon, what I can do is I can go up to hide, unhide all. Now I'll bring back every single polygon. <laughs> 